Hi everybody, I'm Brett. This is more on video on YouTube. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below as new content is posted weekly on this channel. Now today we'll be looking at the Panasonic S5 and how to use this camera as a webcam. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, you will need your S5, a USB cable, and this is optional, but you can also use an external microphone. In addition, I put some links in the description below. These links correspond with the Tether software made by Lumix and the webcam software as well. Additionally, if you don't already have it, download the Zoom software. I would recommend pausing this video now and hitting play again once you have downloaded and installed all the software. So once you have your software downloaded and installed, you should be ready to go. Connect your camera to the computer with the USB cable. Open your camera up. You will wanna to go to menu, USB down here in the wrench menu. And you want your USB mode to be in tether, PC tether. Also, I'm leaving my USB power supply on just because the battery life of the S5 does tend to dwindle rapidly. So now with everything connected to the computer, we're ready to hop on to Lumix Tether. So as you can see here in Lumix Tether, it has all your camera information and we're gonna switch on over to live view just to confirm the frame. There's me and all my desaturated uh, V-Log glory, even with the autofocus box around me. So we've confirmed that. Okay, we can close Tether for now. So once we open Zoom, the first thing we're gonna do is click on to settings. We'll do audio first. If you're using external audio, uh, you wanna click here. Your default will be set as your computer microphone. We don't want that. We want external audio in this case, which is the blue snowball. What's nice about Zoom is you do get a few options here with uh, background noise. For now, I'm pretty confident that my microphone will do fine, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But if, if for instance, you were in an office situation or a busy co-working space, you may wanna have that selected. Now to video. And there it is, still in vlog. You don't have to use vlog, I'm using vlog just because I like to, to work with it generally. I've got the native ISO set at 640. I like working with this picture in particular, so I've got it set here. I would definitely recommend keeping this at HD, high definition. I mean, you're using a camera as a webcam, so it'd be kind of silly not to take advantage of that HD option and get the most resolution out of your camera setup. So now that we have all this, you can see I've already set up a call here and everything's connected. So now with the video set up, you have the S5 working with the loose snowball. As you can see, I've got a Zoom call set up here. So you can use this and it works really well. Uh, one thing to note about troubleshooting, if you end up seeing the Lumix logo up here in Zoom when you go to the video feed, but Lumix Tether, for whatever reason, is showing the video does work, it's because the video feed can only uh, be broadcasted on one of the apps, it can't do both. So if you see the Lumix logo on the Zoom and you're trying to fix it or circumvent that issue, just close down Lumix Tether and then that should allow you to use the video feed from the camera on Zoom. That should clear things up, so, so anyway, I like the video quality. It's much better than webcam. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what my webcam would look like vis-a-vis -vis this video. And definitely pay attention to the highlights here and watch what happens once I switch over. Okay. And FaceTime. So you see here with the highlights clipping, you've got highlights clipping on my face. Uh, the dynamic range is really not good just because there's not a lot of nuance with the lighting and the shadows are really, really crushed uh, versus this again.
There we go. So now that we've connected the Panasonic S5 to the Zoom Chat, you can see the quality is much better. It's much more professional looking. It doesn't have a lot of the same clipped highlights like webcams often have. And in my eyes, it looks much, much more professional and higher grade. So that's all for now. And if you found this video helpful or insightful, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.